Oh, what's going on today, guys? Ratchet Wrench is back for another video. We got Dave's 2019 3.5 liter uh, EcoBoost F 150, and we're gonna do the thermostat on that. So, we're gonna have to get some coolant and whatnot, but with the tune and everything, we wanna have it running as cool as possible. So, an upgraded thermostat is definitely the way to go. Uh, but before we do that, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, comment, and like. If you haven't seen more of this beast, I'll put some videos in the description and up top. Things a monster, so. Well, um, we're gonna start getting the wash and then also some cinematic shots and then we'll get into This Citrus by Chemical Guys is one of the best soaps you could get. It smells amazing and it's like a nice wash and then it has a nice gloss finish on the top of it. I'll link it down below so if you guys want to get it on Amazon. It's super cheap and it's probably one of the best washes I've ever used in my life. And I've been, I worked at multiple auto parts stores and I've used just about everything. But this right here, it's the way to go. Definitely invest in it. If you're a car guy, you'll love it. We're dripping and sweat but we just finished washing the truck now we're gonna go get the coolant and um we'll get into the work so we gotta get the prestone 50 50. it meets the ford compliant number which is the ws m97 b44 slash d is the number for 2019 um coolant so just make sure if you're trying to find equivalent to prestone that it meets that requirement right there we'll put an image of the chart in because uh, after January 1st, 2019, uh, it's a different spec number, which means you get the Xerox coolant. Yeah, so just, just do your research, really. But I'll tag this one down below with the link, so if you wanna get it, there it is. All right, we finally let it cool down a lot. So what you're gonna need, obviously the new thermostat. This is an SPD performance thermostat. Um, a ratchet, eight millimeters, the press down, like I explained in the car, some gloves. And then there's our little oil pan to catch the coolant because you're probably gonna lose half a gallon, give or take, maybe more. But the uh, the housing on this 3.5 is different than some other 3.5, so you gotta check the date of manufacture. But I don't know if you can see it right there, that is the housing for the thermostats. There's a bolt up top right there, and then on the bottom, which is the eight millimeter, we'll take that out. It'll pop it out and will drain down and that should really be it. it's gonna be super simple before we do it we're gonna take off this reservoir cap just to release pressure use a rag around it like so slowly to release the pressure you don't want to burn yourself because that steam will come out really hot especially on a hot day like today should depressurize it in a second oh that was it was under pressure there it was all good we'll set that aside see it's steaming holy cow and then we'll get to the next step so right now i'm going to go down here there's three eight millimeter bolts that are holding the housing in so we'll just loosen those up right there yeah that one right there and then there's one below it down here and then on the other side which will be what to get from the other side all right so this is pretty much what the three bolts are going to look like with a washer too it shouldn't fall off it's started on but just make sure to get both or all all of it together this is the housing i just want to show you guys a little more in depth and then there's a bolt right in this little groove right here that you have to take out sorry you guys won't be able to see it but if you're looking at it you'll be able to see it in your own car it's a lot easier to see so i got the second um nut out or bolt and it already start leaking so just be warned that once you release the bottom or top one whatever two you release it's going to release a lot of pressure on the one side so it's gonna start dripping. Perfect. Yeah? Yep. All right, so I'm taking off the third one right now. And this is where it's gonna start just dumping the coolant. So like I said, in the previous there it goes, you could hear it, I'm sure. Make sure it's catching. For the most part, honestly, holy shit. Okay. 
definitely have a pan under the bucket or the drain bucket because it hits there's a bunch of things that the coolant hits on the way down it's not a clear pass so it's going to go in multiple directions as you can see all right so all three screws are out now this little thing should just kind of wobble out it's going to be cooling in there so just be careful it's going to be hot as you can see that gray thing right there is the thermostat so we'll have to get that out so i'm going to use like a hose pick just to catch on to it and uh, pull it out the old one ah she is Ooh. there's the old one i'll show you the new one i'm not too familiar with engineering and how it's more performance but i'm sure there's some kind of way in the metal design, the spring tension and all that just makes it, you know, different performance. But before you put the new one in, you wanna make sure everything spring works. There's nothing restricting it, stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's so much different compared to this. So I put the new one in. I did not reuse the gasket. They give you a new one, so you just wanna make sure you put that one in. Super easy, just literally push it in, make it snug, and then we'll put the bolt back on and then we'll run it, make sure there's no leaks, and we'll have to put some new cooling in, get it up to operating temperature, which should not take long because it's insanely hot outside. So I'll start tying them down and do not over tighten them. It's plastic and then it looks like an aluminum block. And if you strip that, you're gonna be tap, like tapping it out and re-threading it and that'll just be a nightmare. Now we're gonna put the cooling in. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, make sure it complies with the Ford's manufacturer coolant on the back, even though it Dex Cool is usually a GM product for some reason. Ford uses the same one. So we'll do that. We'll pour it in. We'll get it down to the uh, fill line. We'll start it up, run it, warm it up, open up the thermostat so the water or the coolant goes through and then top it off as need be. Make sure it doesn't overheat, stuff like that. And just get it to where it needs to be. So we'll start by getting it to the fill line for right now. Make sure you got a clean funnel. I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you that, but we don't want to mix oil or any other product in the uh, antifreeze. And like I said, you probably lost maybe half a gallon and maybe more, maybe less, but where am I at? Keep going. Not even close. And also when you run it, make sure the um, thermostat's not leaking. All right, so Dave's gonna go in there, start it up, make sure there's no leaking, and we're gonna watch this go down, and we don't wanna get it, we obviously wanna keep it in between the, the guidelines, so right now we're just gonna get it up to operating temperature and go from there. We'll let it idle for a little while, and then we'll give it gas, hold it maybe at like 3,000 RPM. All right, we're gonna keep an eye on the temperature gauge. Fortunately, ours is tuned, so we have this little monitor that actually reads it where it is. Top left. 153 right now, so that's climb, it'll climb to warm up. If you want to rev it up to like 3,000 RPM, maybe 2,500 and hold it there. Just get some heat going, hold it there. Yeah. Warm that bitch up quicker. For those of you that don't know, this is a 180 degree thermostat, so it's not going to open until our engine cool temp is going to hit 180. Yeah. As you can see, it's bubbling up. It's getting all the little air out. So that means the thermostat opened up and it's just circulating now. So that sums up today's video, guys. It was a 2019 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150. It was a thermostat replacement or upgrade in this situation. But um, if you found it helpful or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and um, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. We have a bunch of content coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, follow our Instagram. Um, you'll see some sneak peeks behind the scenes, some cool car shows, so some cars and some other stuff like that. So please give us a follow. The link's down below. And all the uh, products we use today, even the car wash, everything's down below. We'll link it all. So if you want to get it and figure, do it on your own, it's all going to be down there for you. So please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.